Hello, my name is DCC. Today I want to talk about Legis 2 Trailblazer Arias. There's a less than a month until Legis 2 Trailblazers begins on October 28th. So it's time to take a closer look at the core mechanics unlocking Arias. In this article, Jagex take a detailed look into all 9 regions so you can start planning how you will conquer Trailblazer. And I will talk about each of them as well on this video. Unlocking Arias Everyone will start with access to two regions and you will be able to unlock three more as you progress giving a possible access to five out of nine total areas. You'll start in Misthalen as with any normal new adventurer, except of course this time there are some big differences. Karamja will be unlocked by completing a tutorial. Beyond this, as, as you progress you will have the option of heading to either Asgarnia, Kandarin, Mauritania, the Desert, the Fremenic Provinces, Teravn or the Wilderness. But choose your regions carefully as you won't be able to change your mind afterwards. You can read more about how to unlock Orias in the Designing League section of September's Gillenor Gazette. Starting in Misthalen, your starting area is one familiar to all players, both old and new. It covers the entire kingdom of Misthalen along with Fossil Island, Xenaris and the Abyss, as well as the instances of underground areas contained within. There are some restrictions, however, access to Alcarid, Portsarim, Canifis and the western exit of Barbarian Village, as well as transportation and teleportation and shortcuts is restricted via the cunning deployment of magical barriers. Unlocking Ramja, throughout development, Jagex have worked hard to keep Aria's balance to ensure that no one unlock was more desirable than other. An example of such balancing is Gramja. Early on, the only real rewards it offered were a way to obtain a fire cape, an infernal cape, and perhaps obsidian armor. And while the former two are prestigious items, players would almost certainly have been drawn to other items elsewhere that offered more useful PVM drops, something that would prove advantages in the longer term. Jagex developers didn't want to artificially inflate the number of points available in Karamja because that would have the counter effect, making it super desirable for easily obtained points. Ultimately, the solution was to unlock it for free during the tutorial. Jagex chose this course of action because it resulted in an early lesson in area unlocks for the players. The race to the first fire infernal cape will be entertaining to watch as well. It will be fascinating to see which combination of other areas relics get the players to these goals the fastest. Gramja also solves the player own house issue by giving access to a, P to a POH portal from the off. Asgarni is comprised of the remain of the free to play world and the opening member area, along with the island of Entrana, the pest control island and troll country. Those looking to make their way into Caterby will be met with magical barriers preventing access to the fishing town. Kandarin, the land of the gnomes, mourners and ogres offers players a selection of familiar content from Seer's village to Apatal. The Nightmare Zone is restricted and players can instead obtain Nightmare Zone points by purchasing them from one coin apiece from Dominic Onion. Mauritania. Equip your garlic and silver if you wish to venture to Mauritania. The lands east of Varrock include Mosle Harmless, Brain Dead Island, Dagon Tooth Island, and Harmony Island. You will also unlock full access to a throughout the Paterdomus Temple. I don't know how the hell it's that pronounced, but Paterdomus. Caridian Desert. Don't forget your sunblock as it gets hot out in the Caridian Desert. Unlocking this area of the map will grant you access to all parts of the desert including Polnevich, Sofonim, Narda and Menafas. Those looking to pass through Alcarid's gates must have unlocked this region first. The Fremenic Provinces. The Fremenic Provinces area includes Lunar Island and Ways, access to Kandarin via the Bridge of South of Relica, as well several shortcuts to bordering neighbors unless you have unlocked them is prevented through the use of magical barriers. Tyrovn, home of the elves, explore the lands west of Ardon when you unlock Tyrovn. This area will also grant access to the Temple of Light and the Underground Pass. Instances of areas in Tyrovn and underground spaces with an entrance in Tyrovn will also be included. 
Wilderness. The wilderness is included in its entirety throughout the last man standing will not be accessible. You will, you will be able to face off against Hawas Elementals, King Black Dragon, the Corporal Beast and gain entry to Mage Arena 1 and 2. Crossing the Wilderness Ditch or activating the lever at the Desert Keep will require access to whichever area is on the other side of it. Deaths will behave differently in the Wilderness when competing in the League. PvP deaths will be treated like a PvM death, with your lost items moving to a Gravestone and the Gravestone moving to your respawn location. JX are going to share even more information over the next few weeks, so I will make a new video about it in the next week, so be sure to check the videos. This is it for this short video, I hope that you enjoyed watching and if you did consider liking this video, subscribing for future uploads and as always guys, have a nice day!